Hi, everyone. I apologize for the delay in getting this to you. I promised you a tour around the site quite a long time ago and then got super busy and didn't do it. But I think it's pretty important because there's quite a few members now and I would love to see people more engaged with the site. And I realize that people don't necessarily know what's there or how to engage with it. So I'm new to this as well, but I'm going to do my very best to give you a tour around most of the features of the site through sharing my screen on here. And hopefully you'll take a look and you'll see how you might get more involved or engaged in the site and make use of it especially as the resources grow. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and you'll just hear my, I hope, and I will try and show you around a bit. Okay, here we go. All right, so here is the site. This is what happens when you open visiblechild.com. It just makes me so excited to see it. I'm gonna see, I don't know if you can see this now, but I'm gonna move it down to the bottom. My guess is you can, so I'm gonna try and move that. I'm gonna also move me over here so that we can see the site better. Okay, so this is the home. Forget about the things at the very top in the little black bar. Those are admin kinds of things. This is the site that you will see if you are a member and you're signed in. You'll see all of these things at the top. So I will also open another screen and show you what it looks like if you are not a member. So we'll do that at the end. So... Here is the homepage. In these little, in the middle of the screen, there are these little squares. If you click on them, you get one of those four choices. Quick link to the blog, a link to how to become a member, a link if you want to book a consultation, and a link that has my bio so that you can read more about it. And then you can just close that back up. The homepage does have a lot on it, so be sure to scroll down. So I'm gonna do that. When you scroll down, basically it just, that's a basic, a basic introductory statement. And then down here, there is a statement about consultations, how it works. If you click on that block, it will take you to, it should take you, doesn't seem to be doing that. To, I think this is just informational now that I'm re realizing that. And then this will take you to the blog. The pink bar will take you to the blog. The blue bar will take you to Parent Circle, which is like the social media feed of the group, of the site. So it's more like a feed on a Facebook page. Tells you what's been posted. People can post questions there. People can interact there. And anything that gets posted to the site, there's an a notification that appears on Parent Circle. And then the third one is a link to the modules, and I'll talk to you about those later. So let's continue scrolling down. Below this is the posts, the blog posts. Um, they now all appear with a picture. You can you can sort them by either the latest posts, and that these will be in order in which they're written, or the most popular posts. You can choose whichever you prefer. And then you continue to scroll down a little bit about Visible Child. If you want to learn more, you can about me or about the business or about what Visible Child is, you can click on that learn more button. And then down here are reviews and success stories that people have shared. I'm very grateful for those. If you have a story about something that some way that Visible Child has been helpful to you, feel free to submit one of those. I would love to. And in order to do that, you just need to scroll down all the way to the bottom. This is in a little bit of a discolored kind of, not discolored, but a darker kind of section. And then you would just click on testimonials and it would 
you can click the number of stars and then it will give you an open space to write in what you want and then you can submit it. Okay, so I'm going to go. Then there are, as the bottom at the bottom of the page, a number of links. This takes you to, I'm going to go start over here on the left. This takes you to modules. I'll talk to you about what modules are in a few minutes when I make my way through the rest of the site. This takes you to all the visible child graphics, which I'm inputting as quickly as I can. The memes, the little graphics that you've seen on Facebook or little ways to things that you can print out that you can share with others. They're all fully shareable from the site, either to Facebook or to a variety of other social media platforms. Recommended readings has links to books that we recommend that are aligned in some way and videos takes you to the video library. So here under this category, I hope you can see my cursor, you see community. That's an op This leads you to a place to join if you're not already a member. Parent Circle, as I've already said, is sort of the social media feed. Membership Info tells you a bit about what membership consists and why you should join, what is going to be provided here. Guidelines we're still working on, so that's a little empty at the moment. Here's some links. The links are to enter a testimonial, to change your profile, which there's more than one way to do that, to join a wait list. That's kind of not a thing that's active at the moment or another way to become a member. Over here on the contact section, this just allows you to send me a message. You can book an appointment if you want to set up a consultation. This takes you to the Facebook, my Facebook business page, and this takes you to the Facebook group and to the Facebook Instagram page. Okay, so I'm going to, oh, also these success stories, oops, sorry, that was a mistake. These success stories scroll through, basically, they move. So if we sat here for a minute, we would see them move. If we scroll, I don't know why that's not working. All right, that's confusing to me, but I think that we would see them all if we went to the testimonials page. So we can look at that in a few minutes. Okay, let's do that right now. We'll go down and we'll hit testimonials. And you see they are all here. They're not, you, they don't have to scroll. You can just see all of them in on one page if you go to the testimonials page. On the home page itself, a few of them appear at a time. And then if you sit there for a bit, they scroll through. Okay, so that's the home page. Let me go back up to the top. Sorry to make you dizzy. A few things I want to cover before I talk about these menu items. Obviously, this takes you to the home page, as does clicking on the logo. This up here, if it is a blank circle, it either means that you are not a member or you do not have access to the membership restricted parts of the site, or it might just mean that you have not put a picture in yet. So I want to talk to you about how to put a picture in. I would love it if you did that so that we could get to see one another a little bit. You don't have to, but it does make for a conversation much more, um, makes conversation more personal. And I would love to see you do that. So if you want to do that, you click on this circle and you go to my profile. I'm going to do that. And you get to this page and there is a link right here that says profile photo. Click on the profile photo and you can upload a photo right here or you can take one on your computer or on your phone so that you can put one in. I would love to have people do that if you could. So that's the way to do that. If you need for some reason to change your billing system, et cetera, you do, do the same thing. I'm gonna go back. You do the same thing. You go to, I'm gonna go back, back to the home page. Okay, so click on this, click on my profile. And as, although it seems a little counterintuitive, your, your, account information, your payment information is under shop. There's no point in my clicking on it because I don't have that information there, but for you, it would be there. And if you need to change it in some way, that's where you would. You can click on account that, that allows you to change your login information. If you want to reset your password, et cetera. Okay. So that's that.
I'm going to go back to the home page. I do hope you'll put a picture up if you can. So let's let's talk about what's here. Announcements. You can click on announcements at any time. That will have anything that is relevant that's coming up and some old things. So there's the mention of my site tour that I said I was going to do ages ago and I didn't do it, but I'm doing it now. So there it is on the announcements page. If I'm going to be appearing somewhere, if there's an event coming up, if there's an office hours coming up, I've done a couple of those and I will be doing them regularly. And those things will always appear in announcements. Handily, they will also appear on Parent Circle because anything that happens on the site gets a notification in the Parent Circle, which again is kind of like the social media feed of the group. So I'm going to go over and go back to the homepage just so you see it fresh. And I'm going to go to engage. And under engage, you will see four things, right? Forums, which is sort of the discussion sections of the group, which I hope will grow and get more vigorous over time, much like the Facebook group operates, but divided into more categories so that things are easier to find. And it's, we, there's the possibility of us having any sort of forum. If you want to have a forum of people who live near you, we can set that up, a, ge a geographical one. If you want one that isn't there, you can just be in touch and make that suggestion, or you can make that suggestion by posting it in Parent Circle, and I will see that. And I'm open to adding them for sure. We can make it anything we want it to make, make it. But I'll show you what those look like currently. They're kind of minimal at the moment, but they cover most bases. Then it says modules. And I'm going to show you what that is as well. I'm just going through the menu items at the moment. Modules are meant to be kind of like a library. So if you were going to go to the library and take out a book on X or Y, modules are meant to be like little mini lessons in a variety of things. My intention is to do several of those a month for the next actually couple of years so that hopefully there will be lots of modules in there that you can access. They each have a short video. They have links to relevant articles. They might have a little worksheet for you to follow along. You want to learn about a particular topic, kind of like a chapter in a book, maybe even less than a chapter in a book, but that's what the modules are for. Parent Circle, as I've said, is the social media feed, and we'll get back to that in a minute. And webinars and Zoom is where you will find the links to any sorts of webinars or Zoom meetings that are held in, in the site. Services. I'm moving over to services. Services includes appointments with me, consultations and coaching. That's a way to start the consultation process. That doesn't go directly through this site. It goes through my booking site, but there will be a link provided. And what consultations are, are one-on-one -on -one meetings or it, one or meetings with me and a couple or me and a teacher. Sometimes they are multiple people, but most of the time they're one-on-one -on -one or one-on. -one. And speaking engagements is if you would like to book a workshop or a talk either in person somewhere or a Zoom, via Zoom, et cetera, you can click on that and proceed to let me know that what you'd like to do and we can take it from there and I'll be in touch with you. So now I'm going over to resources. This is the blog you're familiar with. The blog will remain public. There's no point at which it will be member only. Graphics and memes also are public. Those are things that I'm uploading as quickly as I can from the library that I've developed over the years of running the Facebook group. Recommended readings I've already mentioned are links to books. They are currently linked to Amazon. I know some people don't like to use Amazon and feel free not to use it if you don't want to. There is a bit of a benefit to me if you do buy things through Amazon because they give me a, I have an affiliate membership. So if you do want to buy the books from Amazon, if you would click on them on that page, they're not all there yet but I'm working on it. And videos takes you to the full video library of the site. Now, the video library has some videos that are public, meaning you don't have to be a member to see them. And it will have an increasing number of videos that are not public, meaning those, those will be available to members only. Oh, that's something that's important that I didn't mention. 
over here under engage, all of these things, forums, modules, the parent circle, and Zoom meetings and webinars are all member only functions. So those are not things you will see if you are not a member and they are not things you can participate in without being a member. Okay, some of these things will be public, some of them not. It's You don't have to worry about it. If you wind up someplace or you want to see something that is member only, you will just encounter a reminder that says that you have to be a member to do that. The About page is actually a really good resource. It gives you a lot of information about me, about Visible Child. Take a look around and I'll take you there in just a minute. So I think that's the basic overlay of the homepage. And I'm, I'm trying to get through this as quickly as I can because I nobody wants to watch a super long video. So I'm going to try and zoom through these. So first, I'm going to click on About. This is a public page. It's available to members and non-members. Non a little bit more about Visible Child, more about Respect, a little bit more about the idea of what I mean when I say that children do come with instructions, a bit about community, and then a lot more about me, where you can press me, me and you can find out a lot more about my history and who I am, what my experience is, etc. Okay. It also tells you how to book a consult, and there are some frequently asked questions down at the bottom. So that's a, a good page to start exploring. Let's go to resources. So the blog, if you click on the blog, you get a similar page to what you had before. This does allow you to search for any word or any topic. The search function is very good. I guarantee you, you can find it. And it will show you all of the blog posts that address that topic. You can also select a category here. So there will be categories that have, there's lots of them that, that address your concerns and you can scroll through those and choose a category and all the blog posts that address that will come up or that have that word as a keyword in them. So when you do read a blog post, there will be suggestions for other posts at the bottom that might also answer your question. So some of that happens, some of that guidance happens a bit automatically. Graphics and memes. So they are here. If you click on one, it becomes large. There's a Pinterest link if you'd like to do, like to attach it to that. You can close it back up and then you can also share it to Facebook, Twitter, by email or via other ways. You can also click on the arrow and you get a bigger version, including the print version of what is said and then links to others below, okay? So in time, all of the memes and the, graphics that I use will be here, the, the, at least the ones that I have generated. I don't share other people's on this site. I do share those sometimes on Facebook and I might very well share them in a in a conversation here, but, but I don't want to claim authorship of those. So recommended readings, this is just an example. It has so far only five books. There are some long list of books that I need to put up. Um, and, but these are some examples. This is Magda Gerber's book, Your Self-Confident Baby. This is my all-time favorite book, How to Talk So Kids Will Listen and Listen So Kids Will Talk, a bit by Alfie Cohn, a bit by Ross Green, and the developmental books by Louise Bates Ames. It was a good start. There will be more there. Let's go back. Resources. We go to videos. And you scroll down. This one went up today, How Five-Year-Olds Think. Mindfulness moments, you can filter by a series. So there's a series called development, series limits and boundaries, series mindfulness moments. You click on the mindfulness moments series and you only see the mindfulness moments videos. You click on development. And so far you just see this one that I put up today because there's a number coming that will be in this category. But in time, there will be lots, hopefully, in that category. Or you can show all of them. And again, you can also search the video database for any word and the videos that you're looking for, hopefully, will come up. Okay? So that's it for the resources section. Services. I think that this is not... Yes, this takes you... If you click on appointments, it takes you to my, business, my booking page that offers you a variety of options. If you click on consultations and coaching, 
What you get is a summary. There's a video from me there about what consults are about, tells you, answers your questions about consults, gives you a choice about families or organizations, tells you how they work, and then lets you learn more about me. And then there's a bit more information at the bottom about how it works, how you get started, et cetera. So this is an informational page as opposed to just going ahead and booking. And then speaking engagements just allows you to book with me or download the PDF about how it works to um, to have bring me to talk somewhere else or somewhere or to do a do an online workshop. And this is a bit more information. You can click on these links as well. Okay, so that's what speaking engagements looks like. We've already done announcements. So here we're going to do the big stuff. So engage. I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to start with webinars and Zoom. So at the moment, we click on that. And you see that so far there have been two Zoom meetings. They were both office hours. There are webinars and more office hours upcoming. They will be listed here. And one of those is coming up quite soon. You can search on every page and, and anything that is available will be will appear there. And that's where you would click if you wanted to join them. If you are a member, those meetings for the most part will be, Zoom meetings will be free. Webinars might be, well, webinars are generally free for members. They will be at a cost for non-members. So let's go to Parent Circle. So here's what Parent Circle looks like. And it operates like an activity feed. So this mentions that I responded to a discussion in the preschool forum. This also mentions that I, I responded to another discussion. This is a photo that a member posted. This is a notice of the video that I posted. You can see it's basically much like a social media feed. It doesn't work as, you know, perfectly and elaborately as Facebook, but one of the things I will tell you is that it is most certainly the site, the entire site here is very, very searchable, which is one of the very difficult things on Facebook that we've been trying to address by developing this site. So that's the parent circle. You can write something here if you're not sure what to do, if you have a question, if you're not sure what forum to post something in, if you just want to say make an announcement, if you want to ask, are there people here from California? You can write that in the parent circle. And when somebody does post something, you can answer it. So, so not on these notifications. You can't respond to notifications. But if someone posts something, you can respond. So let's see. Let me scroll down. The ones that you can respond to will say comment below. I'll show you the one that I posted with announcement that I was that I had come back. Ah, so here I said I was gearing up for a productive weekend. That's right now. And looking for requests about what people would like to see. And you see there's a link here that says comment. You can click on that link. And quite a few people did. So you see this is the stream that everybody responded. And and you can keep replying or commenting just like you can on any other social media feed. Again, all notifications appear here and you can feel free if you're not sure where to put something or where something is, you can just write that in the feed. Modules. Let's click to modules. So modules at the moment, it's a resource library. So at the moment, there's one module, which is about setting limits and boundaries. I'm going to click on that. And you will see that there's a PDF, which is a workshop to accompany the video. If you click on that, it will come up and you can print it out or you can save it. Three relevant blog posts from the Visible Child blog. And this just tells you what's included. The overview tells you what's included in this module. And then down here, you click on video and there is a video. Graphics and images that are related and questions and answers. Questions and answers are kind of like a like a frequently asked questions. If you should submit a question, I might very well add it to the bottom of the module. Okay? But these are not super interactive. Other they're more things for you to take in and read, like little lessons. And hopefully there will be many many of these as we go along. I am working on a lot of them as we speak. So, that's what it will look like. You will open it up and there will be 
module. They'll be, they'll be divided by topics. They'll be divided by age ranges. And again, there's a search box so that you can search them and see what you can use any word and or phrase and the ones that match your concern will come up. I'm sorry, this set, this, this section is a little spare at the moment. I have many in the works, but none of, none of, not too many that are quite done yet, but that's what this introductory early adopter phase is about. And I assure you, I am working on them. Forums is, I think, the big thing that a lot of people are interested in. And fortunately, it's been quite active. So, so I'm going to click on forums. Ah, here we go. So forums, there are currently 11 forums. This is a, a forum for talking about different books. This is about food and eating challenges. That wasn't here originally, but it emerged from a, a request. So that's now a place to discuss those things. This is a general section. As you can see, there have been, four, there are four different discussions with 15 participants or 15 comments that have been in members. In this section, members can respond to members. I can respond to members. Anybody can participate or post or comment or add something new in this section. This is the place where we meet. This is the place where we gather to talk about or ask questions or get support. It doesn't have to only be questions. It doesn't only have to be problems. It can be just a support place. It can be, you know, a lot of you who've been a part of the Facebook group, you know, I always say it's not a classic parent support group. It's not a place to go and sort of check in with people. This forum can be that. So it can be a place where we can create a forum if it's not there already for just general support. And you could go there and you could post something and let people get back to you. It does not have the limitations. This is a more intimate, more connected, more searchable more, I don't know, private community than the one that's on Facebook. The one that's on Facebook has more than 50,000 members. It's very difficult to have a personal kind of conversation there. Hopefully here, it's a bit easier. I may set up a forum for anonymous questions. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure how we can do that. I think they would have to come to me and I would have to post them, but that might be something we could do here. The very idea of this is that a lot of the restrictions that are necessary by virtue of being on large scale social media like Facebook are removed. A lot of the cautions that I have to exercise in that space are somewhat removed. I do have a way of getting messages to everyone, which I do not have on Facebook because the feed does not allow for it. Facebook is moving their, their work increasingly towards short videos so that they are kind of banking on the success of TikTok and not really supporting or allowing into the feed longer videos. So we do need a home for all of those things. For those of you who were in the Facebook group very, very early on, you remember what the group was like when there were just a few hundred of us or even a couple thousand of us, believe it or not, it was a different world than when it's very enormous. Some things are gained, obviously, and some things are lost. I'm trying through this site, hopefully, to recreate with time, I know it will take time. What was lost when we were a smaller community and we could didn't have to have such restrictions around what we talked about. So the forums are, this is a forum for general Q&A. This one is for people who are new to Visible Child. I'm not going to open these because again, this is only for members and I don't want members comments and content shown on this video because I want to be able to show the video elsewhere. So, so this is for people who are brand new to Visible Child. Maybe somebody sent them here. This section is called Our Own Stuff. So this is something that is not actually part of the Facebook group, which is a place for people to share and get support around our own work that makes this hard. Um, it's something we can't accommodate with 50,000 members, but with a smaller community, hopefully we can, and we can support one another. The idea behind these forums is not solely that people post questions and I answer, because as the community gets larger, that's going to be impossible for me to answer every question. But it is a community where people are committed to child approach or similar approaches, and we can help one another. 
So it is not only, it is not as heavily moderated as the Facebook pages. And you can, within participation guidelines, which as I've said, are not quite all written up, you can help one another out. So our own stuff is about our own difficulties. Then there is this category, which has many subcategories, which is parenting and child development by age. It's got adolescence because, because yes, this site is covering all ages, elementary age, which is about six to 11, infants, middle school, tweens, preschoolers, toddlers. They're only in that order because they're in alphabetical order and I couldn't really change that. So I, I, I'm going to ask my developer if it can change those order. But at the moment, you find the one you want. And then you click on that and a new forum opens. Parenting respectfully in mainstream culture is another thing that has not been able to be accommodated in the Facebook group. It's a conversation place about dealing with how sometimes stressful and isolating it is to parent in a way that's very respectful of children in a culture where that is not the norm. The criticisms that we get from family, from schools, the misalignments, the discipline strategies that are expected of our children in schools, et cetera. That's a place to discuss those things. Problem solving with children is not only Ross Green's collaborative problem solving, but also inclusive of that, but also many ways to problem solve with children. Video discussions, <coughs> excuse me, video discussions on the video page at the bottom of every video, there is a link to discuss that video if you'd like. So this is a place where those are located. Visible Child in the Classroom is a place for teachers and directors and people who work with children rather than parents. And the What Do I Say, which is you can see is currently empty, is a place where I'm going to begin to input and to migrate a lot of the stuff that is in the now archived What Do I Say group, which means how to answer kids' questions about difficult things. In time, I think all of these will become very large. And it might seem that they could be cumbersome if they're very large. But because the search function within this site is so very good, you can search much more efficiently than you can do that in the Facebook group or on Facebook page and find the things that you're after. And if you can't, you can post a question on Parent Circle and someone will direct you there. So I think that that is the quickest overview I can do at the moment. I'm going to stop sharing my screen at the moment and then you will see me again. Hi. So I hope that this was helpful. I am going to probably post this as well to Facebook so that people can see. So there are many parts of this that are private. As the resources and the videos grow, I would say a significant number of them will be members only. The other thing that's not even here yet or probably more than one thing that's not here yet, is courses and workshops. The workshops will be available shortly, and you will see those on the site. Those will be things that you would enroll in in a cohort. So maximum, maybe depending what the topic is, 12 or 20 people, we would meet weekly for a series of weeks. Some of them will be free for members. Some of them will be at cost, but they will still be significantly less for members than for non-members. The same goes for classes. There is a whole coursework section that is going to be set up to have on-demand classes, and I am working on developing some of those, and those will also be available for a charge. So I hope you will join. I hope you will stay with us, help us to make it into what, grow it into what, um, what would be most useful for you. Please be in touch. If you are a member and you have not really ventured into the site or done anything, please do come, participate in forums, answer other people's questions if you want. Best way ever to strengthen your own practice, your own parenting is to be a resource to others. It really does keep us honest and keeps us strong in our commitment to parenting children with respect. So that's it for today. I hope this was helpful in some form and I will see you on the site and on Facebook as well. The Facebook presence is not going anywhere. I may progressively be there less as I am devoting more time to this community but the site will remain. So thanks so much. Thank you so much to all of you who've signed on as early adopters. I so appreciate it. 
And I do want to hear from you. Give me your suggestions, your thoughts, what you'd like to see, what you'd like to have happen. And we'll take it from there. We'll grow this together over the coming months and years. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.